Picture this. The night is dark with a cloudy overcast and a chilly wind, and it blows through the city. You can hear police sirens in the distance echoing down the streets. The city lights are shining throughout the evening as you wait to enter the movie theater for the nine o'clock showing of Peter Pan. The Hopkinton Lions Club recently hosted their annual youth speech contest. All is normal and it's a pretty typical Saturday night. Suddenly, a man in line reaches forward to the woman in front of him and grabs her purse. The woman, scre the woman screams and struggles to get her purse back. Everyone backs up, looking at the situation in fear. We talked with this year's, and he was also last year's winner, Kevin Gu. Um, I was participating in the Lions speech contest, and um, it's where high schoolers are able to uh, write their own speech on a specified topic and um, give a speech on it. And I heard you were today's winner. Congratulations. Uh, what was your speech about? Um, it was on the topic of what is heroism. How long did your speech take you to come up with? Um, I was thinking about writing it for a long time, but I ended up writing it in like uh, the final three days leading up to the speech contest. So. Terrific. And what's the next step for you? Are you going to enter another contest? Um, this uh, competition, I'll be competing in the next level, uh, which I believe is regional or district. And um, yeah, I'm excited. And did you enjoy your experience today here at the speech contest? Yeah, this was a very great experience. I recommend uh, for any other high schoolers to try it out. But then, a dark shadow leaps from a tall building. It's a bird. It's a plane. No. It's Superman. He jumps down, wrestles the bag away from the man, and handcuffs him. Uh, the Lions in Massachusetts started having youth speech contests back in about 1980. And we've been doing it since. It's a statewide competition open to high school students in grades 9 through 12. And they may be homeschool, charter school, uh, private institutions. And we pick a topic each year, which we hope will be interesting to the high school students for them to write a speech on. And the speeches need to be between, between five and eight minutes long. And uh, this competition, as I said, is statewide. So we have uh, five districts in the Lions, and we represent the District K, and we are the ones who oversee the contests. Uh, we look at the uh, policies and procedures, and we pick the topics for each year. Terrific, and how many entries did you have this year? Well, we're still in the club level, and uh, we have about 48 clubs in the, our district, and right now we only have about 10 clubs that are participating. We'd love to get that number up, uh, but it's uh, difficult sometimes to get someone at the schools to promote the contest. So uh, then it goes on to a zone level and then a region level. Then we have our midwinter convention, and that's for District K. The winner of the District K contest goes on to a state level contest. And there are four other districts that compete at that time. And can you uh, talk about the criteria that was used to pick the winner today? There's a whole list of criteria of how they stuck with the topic, examples they gave, uh, their intonation, uh, their presentation style. So it's looking at very many aspects of what they are speaking about. And overall, how was the speeches today? Very good. Uh, it's always interesting to hear the different perspectives that the students have on a particular topic, because you never know when you pick the topic, is this going to go over, is it going to be interesting, you know, what will they say about it. So uh, I was very impressed with the speeches tonight. Anyone can help someone out and anyone can lend a hand. It doesn't take a strong person endangering their lives to be a hero. But it, but it does take a strong-hearted individual who wants to help. So, is it a bird or a plane? 
No, it's us. Because we can all be heroes in our own way. Thank you.